Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alathrex. And of course, welcome back to the campaign where today we have two very simple goals. The first of which is to remove the Onyx Watch presence from all the way over here, getting two resource zones in the process. And the second goal is to finally make a push against the Deepwater Guard. Currently, we are at war with both, and our forces have been spread a little bit thin. Although the Deepwater Guard haven't been too strong against us, they're constantly attacking us, which means everything is being slowed down. So, what we're going to do is send the Abhorrence over here and claim this resource zone, taking out the uh, Deepwater Guard's fishing hole, and then we'll make a push against their main buildings. In the meantime, though, I do have a new vehicle I want to load into the campaign. It's mostly designed to take out smaller craft, and it's essentially a melee craft. It's the craft I built in the previous video, but now it's more focused about being a melee craft. I've lost the advanced cannon, I've added some extra harpoons, an extra engine, and it's all about sweeping smaller craft simply off the map. It even has some missile distractors in the form of small missiles, which work surprisingly well, which also act as harpoons. It sends the enemy's missiles back at them, and very rarely they will hit themselves in the face with a missile. And it's bloody glorious. So, let's get moving. And hopefully something will happen soon. Already claiming this territory. Our two friends are moving in to claim that territory as well. As soon as everything's been grabbed. Just attacking one of the small resource zones from the Onyx Watch. Obviously this isn't really a fight of the ages. And it'll be over in a second. There we go. That was the Abhorrence. Just doing what the Abhorrence does. I really want to take out this. What I need is just more forces. That's exactly it. Just there's too many enemies constantly moving around. Got the envoy there against the prowler. Oh, the prowler. Actually, that's a slightly bigger target. Uh, okay, you move there. Can make a new vehicle there soon. You, I want you to move forward so I can start seeing more. Building over there already. Building over here already. Ooh, lovely. In fact, one of our... Melee craft are now done. Wonderful. You, I want to send against the Deepwater Guard. The Palisade tried to run away from... Ooh, the Palisade's bigger than I remember. I think I've already came to this conclusion before. Uh, so, really, we want to get as close as possible with these two. Oh, and it moved. Oh, it's got that in the way as well. This is not going to be a good fight for us in terms of positioning, but still... What happened? How did you lose your- Why do things randomly lose their butt in this game? I'll need to look into that. Oh, the Palisade is missile focused! It won't be able to hit our subs! Nope, not a chance. I mean, our torps probably aren't reaching it either, but we are just advanced cannoning it slowly to death. I could capture this, but I'm just gonna let it have a more dignified end through the power of explosives. But seriously, how did you lose your butt? Like, only the armor as well. Like, you didn't... Yeah, you've... None of that's explosive! Why did you lose that? There's nothing which could have exploded there. It's just armor and it's tail fin. <laughs> I have no idea why that happened. I mean, should I capture it? It's actually beached itself now as well. Ah, oh, I love missiles. Fine. You know, my honor rules have always been, can the enemy fight back? If it can't fight back, then it's well within my rights to salvage. Oh, it's AI dead. Um, I think the EMP killed anyway, so... Nope. I could have captured it very easily, but I didn't. I gave it a more dignified end. Beached. With its brain slowly being melted. You know. Dignified. What a pretty craft. I do like Onyx Watch stuff. Same, I think I like all the factions craft. A lot of very talented people um, go into all these designs. Now, what the bloody hell happened to your butt? It can't have been the missiles, since they're not explosive. It couldn't have been the advanced cannon, because that would have detonated the entire craft. I don't know what happened there. Maybe, like, they just weren't connected properly before and I just didn't realise? I don't know. I do not know. It seems to be working fine, though, so... 
Okay, now that's been dealt with. Let's go back and let's capture this. Here we are. Abhorrence versus a Prowler and the Fishing Hole. First time using one of our lighter designs now against the Deepwater Guard. As you can imagine, it's going to be a pretty easy fight, I would think. I might want to focus on the Prowler, though, lad. Just constant stream of yellow fragments. Yeah, I will build, I promise I will build a higher gauge advanced cannon soon, like a 500mm. Though, to be fair, our friends are using 250. It's just that this one is spamming 100mm because I just find it fun. I like lots of little hits like that, just this consistent horrible damage. Oh yeah, I didn't turn this off auto. At the moment, it always throws down the, the uh, distraction sticks, even if there's not a missile. Ooh, a walrus. Aren't you the... I think the walrus is their cargo vessel. Okay, well, let's take out that. Envoy move in. Let's capture that as well. The Frenzies are slowly making it there. However, our sweeping craft, our melee craft, is going to move in to grab the spear. So our first test with it in the actual campaign. Here's hoping it works. Sorry, walrus. Probably should have captured that. It was a complete defenseless craft. I just like shooting things today, okay? It's been a bad few weeks for me. It's cathartic. It's cathartic. It's... How do you say that word? Well, how do you say that word is what it is. Oh, this is going to be a weird one. The Flying Squirrel versus the Abhorrence. It doesn't actually have many anti-fast weapon. But sometimes the Flying Squirrel will just headbutt one of your missiles. I honestly thought that was going to take ages. <laughs> yeah, we're going to really rush both of these factions now so we can start fighting some of the lighter ones. Ooh, the Iron Cordon. Oh, it's going right past our frenzies. Our frenzies are so annoying to everyone. Oh, but I would like to try our melee craft versus it. Oh, this is so stupid, but fine. I'm going to tail them. Tail the Iron Cordon in case the melee craft loses versus it, which it might, by the way. It costs like a third of this thing. But um, I won't engage until our melee craft has engaged first. Oh, yeah, I didn't give this thing a chair. That's something for the future. Also, spawning way too far away. So, this is the spear, tiny and adorable, and this is the melee craft slowly closing in. Oh, the EMP actually killed it. <laughs> it doesn't even have that much EMP, but yeah, we spawned in way too far away then. We're kind of dragging its corpse now, by the way, using our harpoons. So, not the best start for our uh, spinny boy. In comparison to when the envoys are fighting these, this is just a different class. Ow. Ow. You broke nothing. Ow. Now versus the Iron Cordon, as you can see, the missiles are going after the small missiles, which is honestly weird. And then we get a straight pass straight into the enemy. Several of our harpoons have actually hit, meaning we are being dragged into the target along with our own momentum. Oh, that's a shame. One of the missiles did turn around against us. Occasionally, like that, you'll see the missiles actually hit the Iron Cordon if you're really lucky. Oh, in the test run I did and obviously didn't record, it was actually a lot more dramatic. And now we get stuck, just like what happened in the original test, which I actually made a video on, because I don't have any spin blocks on the top. Essentially, there are sections on the side which are too chunky, and the whole vehicle gets jammed. It's not meant to be against these huge enemies, but... This is just where we are now. We are still doing damage as we slowly rock around, but it's gonna take a second now. It's kind of jammed in there. Hugs! Oh! And the enemy's torpedo got the final hit. <laughs> Self knockout. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Ow, that was fun. Victory for Sweepy. 
So obvious things I do need to change, but I don't want to, is adding spin blocks to the side, adding rams to the side. It's a basic principle that if the front section is larger than the back section, it'll be able to go straight through the target because the front section will make a hole big enough for the rest. It isn't like that at the moment, because I want this kind of style where it's like a sweeper and then like a normal craft-ish here. And I really like that. Also, I promise I'm going to stop doing this as much when I'm talking. I know a lot of people have motion sickness and I'm causing problems there. It's just an instinct I've picked up over the years and I'm trying my best to stuff. But yeah, so that's it. Okay, you're still functional. So I think for now, just go and capture some zones. Whereas the abhorrence can start pushing this way. We do have a second sweepy, which is almost finished over here. I need to call it something else. Our satellites are so slow. We, need, we just need better satellites so we can see where we're going. At the moment, I'm sending the frenzies in pretty much blind because I just want to see what's over here. Capturing that, capturing that. Then we start capturing these two resource zones. Over here, we've just taken out this resource zone and we're capturing it already. Everything is looking really good for us. And the Abhorrence is now here. Uh, actually, the Abhorrence can take out this um, fishing village. Well, it's not really a fishing village. It's a military compound, actually, so I feel less bad about that. For the life of me, I can't remember what the cauldron is. Shall we give it a chance? Be sporting and only send one ship. So, this is actually one thing I do want to talk about. I think, at the moment, I prefer the older system when the enemy would send fleets. This does mean that their presence on the map is a little bit more stagnant, since I can only um, create one fleet every, well, a lot longer than just making a single ship. But it's just so easy to counter. If I really wanted to win, I would just stack up three or four frenzies or three or four um, abhorrence or anything I have, really, and go and fight against their single targets. I'm not a massive fan of that, but also I'm not quite sure how they would fix it. I do think the campaign is um, inherently quite a difficult thing to balance, so I don't really have anything against it, but I kind of want to make a fleet. I, don't, I just don't want to be that much overpowered. Say, say is the person using submarines. But I got told to use submarines by everyone. I never use them, and this is why. <laughs> I feel so cheesy. Melee craft, nukes, and subs. That's the main things I'm using at the moment. Yeah, can I remember what the cauldron is to, at all? Uh, actually, I actually don't want it that close. I, I keep forgetting the frenzy isn't like a super, super close quarters craft. Okay, no butt explosions this time. So this is the cauldron. Oh, that's yeah, that's not gonna stand a chance. Our torps are gonna be able to hit it. Oh, though it ow. So it did hit us. Never mind. Must have hit directly on the cockpit, because not much damage has been done, but I have definitely lost health. Ah, so it was stopping some of the shells, but now that we're a little bit lower down where we're meant to be, it's a lot more difficult to hit us. And there's our torps, this time actually in range. Oh yeah, forgot I was still using EMP. This is going to take a while, that's a lot of armor we're slowly chunking through. But they can't refight really us, so... Yeah. Oh, I really like the cauldron. You know what, stop for now. Stop, 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 stop. I want to go and uh, see if we can capture this one. After that first hit, which is just when when we were still going down to our current depth, it hasn't hit us once, so I count that as a fair thing to try and capture. Hopefully that EMP won't completely stop it. Oh, there's a missile. Yeah, it was one of those missiles which hit by the looks of things. Before we were completely submerged. Sadly, you can't spawn in completely submerged on sub. Really dramatic music as I'm slowly just bobbing towards the target. Ah, game, you sure know what's up. That looks like the AI. Uh, yep, there we go. Welcome to our crew, um, Cauldron. Forgot your name then for a second. So that is 81k resources we just stole, though I am not going to use that because I want to convert it. So, Cauldron, very slowly can you return back to base. You shall be converted soon. Hello, village! This is the Abhorrence! Abhorrent, isn't it? Did I really just get hit in the face of a cram cannon? 
Maybe actually aim at the thing with the Gram Cannons. I just love these shells so much. Especially against lightly armored enemies, which is really where they shine. Oh, that that tried. That that desperately tried. Boy did that try. Destroy their homes! Steal their beer. Uh, you know what? I've already stole one thing today. Let's not go too much with the whole stealing everything. Destroy the poor Atlas! Yeah, that's a flak shell, wasn't it? Looked, looked impressive, did nothing. Okay, collect all the corpses there to refuel. And then start capturing the next zone. Stop running away! You can't run away from your fate! I still don't have a chair! What happened? I didn't touch you! Why do things sometimes just take damage? I don't... What? That was a rapier! It was... I am many levels of confused right now! Many levels. Moving out. Moving out. Oh, actually, uh, Envoy, can you stay there for a second? I need to make a um, a quick resource harvester. Well, this is going to be odd. An aircraft versus the melee craft. I think it all depends if the harpoons hit. Uh, well, one hit and did a nice chunk of damage. Didn't actually connect the harpoon. Okay, now it did. <laughs> Into the water! <laughs> there you go. Too low! Really? You know what? Stop. Let's just... Leave it there. <laughs> well, that worked. That will not work versus larger targets. They're saying that it does have about... Um, actually, how much engine power do you have? The final version. So we peek them back. 10k. So it might be able to take things down, which are a decent size. Maybe. Versus the Flounder. That's expensive. Oh, that's why lots of missiles. Ooh, that actually did a fair bit of damage to us then. Admittedly, not as much as we're about to do to it yet. That's... That's painful. And its own missile hitting it again. Low health, and it's gone. Yeah, definitely need um, spin blocks on the top. It's simple as that, really, but... God, this is a cheesy, cheesy craft. You know, normally I have a lot more honor rolls than this. Okay, that's one of the um, the big creators there. So we're going to be fighting this airship gantry with our abhorrence. Um, Sweepy is just going to patrol for a bit. In fact, I think it's slowly running out of resources. Uh, I'm going to charge forward to see what else I can hit. To be perfectly honest, just keep on attacking everything we see. Let's see if we can actually finish off the deep water guard today. That would be fantastic. A new vehicle tested. The first faction over. We can then focus completely on the Onyx Watch and then pick a scarier target. Whoa. One of the factions is being very dominant here. The Pioneer. Pretty standard Onyx Watch fare. It looks like the EMP took out most of its guns. And here's the swarm. We really need to swap those back over to explosive the next time the frenzy um, goes back to my own territory. I mean, I could do it in the enemy territory as well, but I avoid doing that a little bit. I mean, I still do it, but I try to avoid it when I can. Yeah, it's all those who asked me to build a sub. This is why I avoid them. They're just so difficult to... Well, not actually that difficult to counter, but if you don't counter them, 
then you're in for a bad time. And these things with their um, anti-torpedo stuff as well, the Frenzies are actually one of my more successful designs, which is kind of weird since definitely not one of the ones which took the longest. They do just look like angry fish. Oh, it's turning away, so I think the... Is it AI dead? Yes, it is. Well, I think it makes sense to capture this one. It's being literally given to us. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that was the easiest capture ever. <laughs> it's still attached. The harpoons are still attached. It's just dragging its corpse along. Uh, welcome to the team, uh, Rapier, yeah? <laughs> EMP is so silly sometimes. Oh, so is my laugh though. My throat's a bit uh, a bit sore at the moment, and my laugh is coming out very sharply. I think. Okay, you return there to be converted. So we have a rapier and a cauldron, which need to be converted. A pilferer and the trade fleet. What is the trade fleet? Oh, I remember those fellows, little um, resource movers. Okay, well, the, the Abhorrence is about to attack the airship gantry. Uh, Sweepy needs some more resources, so I'm just going to let it capture this, and then we can take resources from there. Lovely. We're about to two more resource zones over here. We're about to explode with resources. Another Pioneer about to just run into our frenzy. These frenzies are just making the ultimate blockade. The Pilferer versus the gantry. And it's Little Village, which we did nuke before. I think I may have actually killed one of the buildings, but all the rest have healed up since then. Engaging now. Maybe a little bit irradiated, but apparently mostly healed. I don't know how far this is away, it's going to be quite difficult for these shots to hit. Where are our shots? Oh, there they are. Yeah, our detection isn't the greatest either, but oh. Oh yeah, I forgot this is made of like hollow wood, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that, yeah. Our detection on the, um, the Abhorrence is okay, but could be better. Oh, we did go after that. Never mind, I didn't even have to force it to. Oh, they're so cute. Um, I guess the cannon tower? You're still being healed. I think that's from the nukes. I thought everything was healed up. The Abhorrence is just having a great time. It's a great day, thinks the Abhorrence. Oh, I changed targets uh, the last second there, so the poor missiles went everywhere. What the? What was that? So that thing never gets released, does it? It's just there. Just testing shells. So for those who are curious, essentially all these shells are is very simple. They have a little bit of gunpowder. That's why they're not particularly fast. And then they are just fragment warheads with a inertial fuse. So once the shell hits anything, it will always um, send out those fragments, even if it hits a shield or anything else, and that way it could just never bounce. The cone angle... Yeah, what is that? Is that just like a, a buggy uh, mess from the stone? Weird. Very weird. I say a buggy mess just because it looks like a mess and I think it's a bug. Not so much that it's actually really impacting the game too much. Yeah, there, there we go. That's that done. And then the fragments are set to a somewhat low cone angle. This means they do less damage per fragment, but they kind of go through the target more effectively. At least I think it's a little bit lower than the default. Now I'm looking at it though, maybe I didn't change that. Okay, well we'll get the idea. Only the house left. Yeah, that must be the stone, right? <laughs> what is that? What is causing that? That's so weird. I've never seen that before. Moving out. Okay, may as well Moving capture out. some more while I'm waiting. The enemy's main base is like there, I think. So the Abhorrence and Sweepy will be the ones to take it out. I may have underestimated how deep the ocean is here. This is a very long stick as a harvester. So as you can probably tell, I'm not really relying on any defense for our harvesters. Instead, I'm relying on the fact we have very, very quick ships. Uh, our slowest ship is the Frenzy, which is 25 meters per second. Not exactly that fast, but that's our slowest. 
everything else is significantly quicker. And then just a couple of uh, repair tentacles. And there we go, one more harvester is done. So now we can heal the sweepy which just captured that lovely. Moving out. Grab that resource zone as well. Yeah, we have loads more resource zones. Now we can really start building some big things if we want to. Okay, annoyingly, I've just looked at the time and I've just looked at how much footage we have and I am really all out of time for today's video. At the moment, I am still really lacking recording time. I've mentioned this in a lot of my videos, but I'm mentioning here now as well that recently, in the last few weeks, I've actually suffered a loss in my immediate family. Because of that, I took off a week just to get my head in a better place and I'm still dealing with everything as the days go by, as you can imagine. Uh, de uh, dealing with family and everything else, which is required at this kind of time. So my recording schedule is really off and the, the amount of time I have to record is very very severely limited so because of that expect the videos to be a bit shorter or a bit rarer for the next few weeks probably um I am already getting more time now so things will get back to normal soon but please um have patience as I slowly get things back to some semblance of, of normality but with that, in the next video, our only goals are going to be to make a proper satellite. That's what we'll do at the very start. And then we're going to take out the Deepwater Guard. So all of this will be ours. And honestly, we are already locking down the Onyx... Is that the Onyx Throne? Well, in that case, we may be taking out both of them and then declaring war on two new enemies. So, I would like to know who you think I should go to war with next. Personally, I think probably the Lightning Hoods and maybe the Steel Striders, but it is very much up to you. I think the only one we can't really go to war with right now is purely because of distance. I don't think we could possibly go to war with the Scarlet Dawn, although by the looks of things, they might be dead very soon. It's going to be interesting. That's why we need a, a new satellite so we can figure out just what's going on. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Help out me, help out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continue in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care, and until next time, sweep.